Yeah. Hey, yes, sir. Listen, uh, LAX has a crisis uh, in in intervention team. Has a what? Crisis intervention team for the homeless. Crisis intervention intervention okay. team. Okay. Because I was over there on Third and Rose the other day, and I, I saw uh, the cops attack this one. So it was like seven cops or one guy. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, but I, I was I'm not I'm not against the cops, but I was, I was wondering if there could be a better way of dealing with the homeless as far as uh, bean bags and all that. Well, it's. It has nothing to do with the homeless, it has to do with an individual and their behavior. So if we have a lawful reason to be there, and we have a lawful reason to detain somebody, uh, and they're non-compliant or they're combative, that may result in use of force. Yeah, because LAX has a new program now. They, they deal with a lot of cops coming to the scene, but they deal with that with less violence. We, we try to do everything with the minimal amount of force as necessary. So that's always our goal, and each it's a case-by-case -case basis. But do, uh, do you have a special team, though? So uh, the majority of our officers have gone through uh, mental health intervention training, which is a 40-hour course specifically to deal with folks suffering from mental illness or in, in acute crisis. Yes. And so uh, at Pacific Division, about 150 of our officers have already been trained in that. Okay. And so that's that's our goal. No, I was just wondering because I, I walked past Jordan Rose, and I, I'm not sure if you saw the video yet. The, the, the cop had to be in bag on the individual, on the individual, right. and then uh, it was like seven cops and one guy. Right. I guess they were doing the, the uh, storage clean, the cleaning, and the, I guess the guy didn't have his tent down in time, and the, the cops rushed him. So I, I'm not, I, I'm not against the cops. Right. I, I was just wondering it, it could be done in a better way. So we always start with the lowest level, and, and what I'm saying, if we did anything other than handcuff somebody, then it was because they were resisting. Okay. And, and so that's an individual thing. All right, thank you, uh, Captain Morrison. I'm Tony Barrett. Glad to meet you. Okay, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I knew, I knew uh, Captain Peters really well. Yes, I know him very well. He's a great He's guy. Retired now. Yeah. Assistant Chief. But I'm not against the cop thing like that. You know, yeah, no, no, no. You're, you're welcome to ask those questions anytime. Okay, I'd be yeah. happy to answer them. And thank, thank you for being polite and everything. Yeah, no, not a problem. So, just so you know, uh, the mental health intervention training was something we started a couple of years ago, and the goal is to get all our patrol officers through it. So all our senior lead officers went first, all our training officers went through it. They're the ones with the corporal strike. Yeah. Right. Okay. And now we're working on getting everyone else through it. But at Pacific, we have about 150 officers who have already been through the training. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I mean, thank you very much. You, you answered all my questions. You got it. Sir. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Relax your arm. 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 Rel
Miss, what's going on? What's going on? I have not swung on you. They're hurting him. I have not did anything to you. I have it, officer. He served the country. Officer. He's a vet? Honestly. Man to man. He served the country. Did I hit you? And your pants, pants up. May you lose your dignity like that. So what are they doing? Cleaning up the street or something? Yeah, yeah. They're cleaning. It took all of our shit and threw it in that garbage truck. Damn. I had tits on this week, and they took my last tent. Man to man. After I helped them, and they told me that they were going to get my clothes and stuff, lied to me flat out, threw everything in that garbage truck, and I had to watch them. So of course he's going to be irate because I had to help him in the first place. They do not serve a purpose. I never did. They're both my wife's legal. Son, they can keep my mom. Come on. You guys say, I'm going to sit down. She's still claiming they're having the, the, uh, the cleanup and uh, they took all the stuff. They reacted. I'm not a weapon of destruction. I'm a thug. Oh, good. Ralph, hold your head high, guys. Congratulations. How many of you took one? Who took them down? How many? Eight. Eight of you be proud. Be proud that you can watch that LG. You need different classes than Latin classes. Cultural diversity. Don't wave your hand at me. Be of some service to the community instead of not only the rich. Be fair. The boy? The boy with 1992 song? May it happen all over again. Fuck you guys. Don't put your hands on me. 